You can increase your productivity by five or 10 times overnight by putting the three methods into action that I'm going to give you in my free course. So go download it right now by clicking the link just below here. Hi guys, I just wanted to answer a question from, excuse my pronunciation here, uh, Pooja Bisu. He says, I wanna know how it's possible to live happily in a critical condition. See, that's a really cool question, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to answer that in this video. At least one very important perspective of it and how I look at the possibility of me ending up in a critical, very limiting condition. How do you even deal with the, with the, you know, the possibility that you could end up there? Are you just all fearful about it? Or do you actually have a strategy for dealing with situations like that? Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the, the bell icon there so you get notified whenever we post new videos about personal development and success that has original context content instead of the, just the old rehashing of what you know is already out there. Okay, so what do we do? Well, I can only answer from a personal perspective because this is something that really was uh, a big focus of mine. I couldn't stand the fact that life was dangerous, that you can do everything right. You can work on your goals and on yourself, but whatever you do, you never know where you're going to end up, right? And one of the most scary conditions that people fear most of ending up like, you know, if we, there's been uh, surveys out there where people are, what's the best thing that you could possibly have happen in your life? And most people answer, you know, win a hundred million dollars, right? And when they ask, what's the worst thing that could possibly happen to you? It's becoming a paraplegic. No, having no control of your body, sitting in a wheelchair. How do you deal with that? That that's an actual possible thing that could happen to you. That most people would find worse than death. How does that not become an eternal terror? Or at least until you die. You're just terrified until you die. You can't move a muscle. I once saw a, a, a short clip of a father of two children and their mother, he was sitting in a home somewhere in his wheelchair and he could write, he could communicate, but only through, you know, just a, a little bit of movement with a computer. And I was very young when I saw that clip. Uh, and then his wife and, and kids come in and he tries to, you know, be somebody for them, but he just starts crying, sobbing uncontrollably. And you can see that because he's almost completely paralyzed also here, right? And, and the kids are just like, oh, it's so sad. And the wife is making herself hard inside, right? She's making herself, you know, push that away because it's unbearable. She cannot be uh, a loving, kind woman to that man because the, the situation is simply so hurtful and so terrifying that she has to create some distance to him in order for her to be with her children. Or that's the story that I, I, I drew from that, that I saw from that. I, it was just like unbearably. That's how life is when it's at its worst, right? So what do you do about that? Well, here's what happened because I was just pondering this for years, for decades. And there's one central piece here that I want you to, to, to take away from this video. And that is the fact that if you don't lose your inner resources, the ability to be something for other people. You can always do that. And that is a matter of inner growth, I can guarantee you that. But the bigger you become inside, the more you can confront your fears and grow. The more you can confront being limited and pushing out of that. When it comes to what you're afraid of in your relationship, what, it co what you're afraid of when it comes to your financial life, if you, if you can confront that, and do stuff anyway, even though you're afraid of it, right? Then you're on the path to being able to be resourceful whenever something like that happens. That what you're really afraid of is not being able to contrib contribute to anybody, is what you're afraid of is being weak, is being limited, is being something that is just disposable, right? Human garbage of just being said, look at him, he can't do anything, he's in a wheelchair. He's unlovable. He's just a drag to everybody else, right? Everybody's feeling sorry for him. 
And then at the other end, we got Stephen Hawkins, who's unfortunately is not with us anymore, but he's known for saying that he's the happiest human being on planet Earth, something like that. And he can't move a muscle. Oh, but he's so intelligent. Well, he could be seriously, intensely depressed at the level where his body would give up. He could, he, you know, what a chance to be there. It's just, why didn't that happen? Because you can stay, human beings can stay resourceful. And here's the trick here. Instead of pushing situations like that away, then feel the fear of ending up there and imagine yourself being in a resourceful situation. Instead of pushing the, the, the likely situation that you're going to be left by your significant other, by the people you love, then push yourself into that situation. Feel the fear and then imagine yourself, what would you do in that situation? This is really the key. The reason why we're so afraid is because we try to not be by pushing things away, by, by pretending they're not there, by living in our little safe environment, by not seeing, by not, you know, by thinking that all that happens to other people, right? A dreadful situation like that, even a situation like losing a child, which is some of the, some of the most unspeakable horror that most parents can think of. Don't shy away from it. Not if you're ambitious in this area. By all means, do whatever you have to do to be happy in this life. But for me, I cannot not go into that and live it before it happens. If you're willing to do that and you've got plenty of opportunity because your mind is going to produce these things, right? If you push yourself into experiencing that, walking around with that, not as a, oh, the li life is so dangerous, but being a warrior is just about that. Right? It's about facing the worst thing ever, death, right? Because something is more important than that. And everything that you're afraid of is going to kill your ability to be loving, to be alive. And we create little cages for ourselves and saying, okay, this might happen. I'm not going to think about that. This might also happen. I'm going to pretend that my life is protected, right? This is a cage, all this protection. Go there in your mind and free yourself. And it feels awful, right? It does. But that's the warrior mindset. I'm not going to run home and lie in my bed, you know, so I can live for many years with no fear. I'm going to confront the enemy. You know, the brave heart analogy we had earlier. I'm going to confront the enemy and be free. Confront your inner enemies of what might happen and what, what, what she might do or he might do. And how's that going to make me feel? Then go there, right? I hope this was valuable to you. I know it was for me anyway. Don't forget to subscribe. And I sincerely hope that I see you uh, in the next video here.